Oh yeah. We're back after it. We got a couple of uh, fire lane tows. Uh, this HOA, they, they don't let anybody park in the, uh, the street. There's a couple of vehicles over here they want towed. We'll see if they're still here. Uh, but these uh these are difficult because they're real close to the uh, to the house and to the door where these people live at. I'm going to grab that Kia right there. The show's out. That person, that person's he got to be, got to be in, in that house right there, or that house right there. Almost got to be. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's this house here. I don't know. But that's close proximity uh, to where I'm at. When I got that many doors, that many doors people can come out of, it's definitely pretty stressful. Uh, when you don't know which door they're going to come out of. Uh, how many people are going to come out of that door that's for sure that's why i got my vest on you get jumped on by a couple two or three different people uh, you better have something for them uh or you go you'll get caught up anyway i'm gonna uh i'm gonna roll to the yard this is an email see this is uh the signs they got up no parking i don't like people parking in these in these uh on these curbs uh, so they uh, they tow them. That's what they do. This HOA right here don't have a. Uh, yeah, they don't have that much parking over here uh, for cars, much less trailers. Uh, specifically, this property does not allow trailers, uh, trailers on it at all. Um, that's just the way it goes. They don't, uh, they don't have the room. If you got a trailer, you, you have to rent a storage unit or something. Uh, it's just not set up for it. So they, uh, they called us to tow it. I know everybody don't like the HOAs. Uh, a lot of people don't. Just a lot of people that live in, uh, in certain areas. If they didn't have an HOA uh, on their property where they live at, then the property would uh, would be terrible. And that's the reason you live in an HOA neighborhood. front of me and they shot me a bird <laughs> oh man I wish I could have got him on video what a, what a piece of crap anyway we're back at the lot we got back to the lot with this uh, car trailer anyway there's lots it's lot slam pack man we got cars there we got cars everywhere. Uh, 
Uh, you got to show um, the number of the uh, type. Like the VIN number as well? Yeah, the VIN number, the last one, the VIN number. Because if it just got picked That's Ruby, he's doing a payout. I gotta move these cars where I can drop this trailer. I don't have enough room. That's what I'm doing. And I'm trying to write this trailer up. It, it don't uh, it don't have any VIN numbers on it. It's got some new components. They put a new trailer brake on it. That's where these trailers, where these trailers go. Uh, we get them in here all the time. Ain't, it, this thing ain't got no. Uh, it's got no registration numbers on it. It's got no uh, license plate on it. Um, they come in here like this on a regular. Uh, people just think you can buy a trailer and, and, and uh, not have a VIN number on it. Man, it's just like a car. You gotta have a VIN number, otherwise it's stolen. Or it, it could be stolen. So we gotta just turn the ticket in. No, no plate, no VIN number. Uh, whoever owns it, they'll have to come back and get it. Like I said, they'll have to prove they own it. We'll see what happens with it. Could be stolen. You can't ever tell. I'm on another property here. I, if they want this property cleaned up. Uh, and this has got a expired tag right here. Somebody's driving this car here. We may have some complications. We'll see. Uh, but it's got a uh, 119 tag. It's a Texas plate. Expired uh, back in 20, not January 2019. So it's 20 months out. I'm going to have to go out, get out and hook it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I guess uh, whoever owns this vehicle, they either in there sleeping or in there playing Fortnite or something. But anyway, they wasn't paying attention, but uh, they need to pay attention to that uh, that tag on the car. Uh, it's, it's not it's not valid. Uh, that's for sure. Anyway, I got one another one up here that's got a uh, expired tag, flat tire. I'm gonna drop this one here where I can wheel lift it. Put it on the wheel lift. Yo. How you doing? Are you here to get that car? Yeah. You're gonna have to load it up, man. I can't leave here with it. Are you are you, are you fixing to load this one up? Yeah. Okay. Cause she's all, all the cars that ain't tagged and stuff. She's yanking them. Okay. So if you're gonna get it, hey, listen. I can't leave here with that one on the property because it's by the front. It's flat tire and expired tag. I'm, about to, I'm, I'm, about to bring it. I'm waiting on the key right now. Are you waiting on the key? Yeah. So it's gonna be. Could going you just please get it off the property? You. If you don't, then we'll have to tow it. Yeah. No, I know. How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just, yeah, yeah, just try to get it. Uh, That's all, I, I, just, I'm I wonder if you could. You got a winch? Yeah, I got you, a winch on there. I'm going to pull it up. You could probably put it in neutral. I don't know how straight it is. That's, that's the problem. That was, that was my only thing. It's straight it. enough. Hey, listen, you can winch it, man. Especially with you, what you got right here. Uh, you can back that tray. You can, you can winch that thing on. Just uh, like it sits right here. With try. no key at all. I guarantee you could do it. I'm going to try right now. I'm going to try right now. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. That's fine. Have a good one, man.
and when I just dropped off this Ford Fusion with the 2019 tag, I put it over here. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna wheel lift it in about a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go out here and grab this off. This 2019 uh, Mercedes Benz plate. Come back here, grab, go down there and grab it. Come back up here and put that one on the wheel lift. Here we are, we're up on the Benz. 2019 North Carolina. Hey there. Hi, that's my car. Oh, listen, you, you, if you get stickered, I don't have a hook on it by law. Okay. And listen, you, you got a sticker. You got to contact the office. Did you call the office? Um, no, I did not. I'm going to do that listen, today. Where you, you, you have to call. If okay. you get stickered, if you'd come out here at about 30 seconds later, you'd be you'd have to pay. Okay. So listen, you, you, you see 2019? Yeah, I listen, know. Listen, make sure, and, and it's not up to me to, to make sure it's, well, your tag is good. It's up to me to make sure the property's happy. Yes, if they want us to tow them, we just tow for them. So just keep the off office happy when you're out of state. I know it's hard to get tags. It is. Communicate. Just coronavirus and everything. make sure you communicate with 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 the management. Okay. I'm gonna please, go over there, like, right please now. talk to her yeah. because they, they'll tow it if you don't. Okay. Have Thank a good one. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, I never. Uh, Never got a hook on it. I actually never had my my hands on the chains. Uh, so she she was in her right to not get towed. Uh, and uh, that's the way it goes. She lucked out. Sometimes they get lucky. Uh, other times they don't. But anyway, I'm gonna roll to the next. See what what, what my next car is. Yeah, that's a 320 on the Texas. I got another Texas plate, and I ain't really got nothing against Texas. Uh, actually, I like I like the state of Texas a whole lot. Texas is a pretty good state. Uh, definitely can't hate on Texas. I know some people out in Texas for sure that uh, they're friends of mine. <laughs> But I just pulled out of that office and uh, that manager said uh, one of the residents that we towed uh, and called her up and, uh, and called her a bunch of names. I was cussing her out. But just pe so people know, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Those managers, uh, they're required to keep their properties up and they're required to tow by, you know, according to city and county code. They have to tow these cars by law. Uh, if, if they don't, they're subject to be uh, fined or cited. So managers have to tow. People think they're just trying to be mean. There's a reason they do it. But you can't get mad at a manager. If you get your car towed, don't get mad at the manager. That's what managers do. 
and that when it, it's part of managing is getting uh, he's keeping the property up to code and keeping the residents happy uh, and if there's shortage on parking and you got cars in there uh, that don't have tags you know they need to be towed that's just how it is it's the way it works people don't like rules they don't like uh, for anybody to apply the rules everybody thinks they got they have special privileges and uh, laws and rules don't apply to them but it does it applies to everybody and nobody gets no special treatment don't matter who you are anyway I'm gonna roll to the yard